I'm Malia White, real life bosun and cast member on Bravo's Below Deck Med. Working in my industry can be very interesting. These are my stories. As you'll find out, my world is a total ship show. Today is a special episode because we are doing a crossover with our new podcast, uh, myself and Katie. Hello. Yeah, we'll be launching a new podcast called 30 Flirty and Flying. We cannot wait. Wait, I forget. Do we have to say 30 Flirty and Flying? Oh, this is fun. Oh, cute. Put that star in the middle. We are currently in France. Yeah. Elia, what time zone are you on? Are we on the same time zone? I have no idea. We've had a really hectic week at work, <laughs> and Malia's probably had one too many okay. wines, but here we are. Because you are can we explain. gonna cut that out? <laughs> no, I'm here for oh. it. <laughs> I'm sick. I always get sick while traveling. Let's talk about that. Yeah, I was gonna talk about Micronesia. Okay, when you were backpacking, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you don't yeah. go out after dark. You're not going to bar. There, well, there weren't bars. Wow. Interesting. We had people on scooters chasing me, like knocking on the door, and my boyfriend had to put like a sarong over my hair because they just wouldn't leave us alone. <laughs> I know. I'm like, <laughs> I have to get <laughs> like, There's such a difference between a vacation and travel. I'm so excited. Yeah. Um, and joining us today are some familiar faces, our favorites. We have Z and Coco. Yay, welcome! <laughs> this is the best. And this is exciting because this is truly like a reunion for us. We yeah. haven't really gotten to, I mean, I got to see Z the other week, but I haven't seen Courtney in ages. Yeah. And we're getting yeah. a lot. It's been so long since I've seen you guys. I, I know. know. I think I saw you guys last year in South Africa. Is it the last time? Yeah, I, think, I think that was the last time, look. Yeah, oh, that's too quick. I mean, me and Malia work like dogs, so it, yeah. it's not surprising. But we're here now. I saw you in Tulum, Katie. Yes, you did. You oh, did. Yes, you did. Tulum. Wow. <laughs> yeah. oh, okay, so um, to get down to it, Courtney and Z, you guys were requested on the podcast because everyone wants to know, is dying to know, well, like what Katie and I think of this season, and obviously. Uh, for me, I want to know how working on deck was. Yeah. So uh, let's start it off with uh, what What do you think? Right. So ironically, this is actually the only full season I actually watched. watched yeah, me too. Of Below Deck. Like Woo! I haven't watched Owls. <laughs> I haven't watched. I've seen clippets obviously from past seasons, but I actually sat down and was committed to watching because obviously my two beautiful friends are on it yeah. who I adore so much. So I just wanted to support them. So yeah, it was different. I think as well, like now when I watch the show, because we know what it's like behind the scenes, you have a different understanding how like when certain scenarios are happening, you're like, okay, I understand that's happening, but they probably, you know, manipulated this a little yeah. bit. Um, well, first of all, did you guys miss us? <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> I miss you both so much. Like, I think you- like yeah, to me, the, the biggest difference was that like, I think the season that we all did together was super, super like family orientated and yeah. happy and beautiful. Whereas like the season was a lot more dramatic. Like, yeah, so, very different personalities in, in in a big way. Yeah. And I think, yeah, for me, obviously I missed Katie just being like a boss bitch on the interior. And then this time obviously mm-hmm. I was on the exterior and I didn't have Malia as my <laughs> bosun, which was very sad. But um, yeah, no, it was, it, it was good. But yeah, obviously... Our first time was special. Yeah, yeah. courts. I want to say, like, I, watching you drive the tender and you, like, learning <laughs> on deck, I was like, fuck, I wish I was there. Like, yeah. I want to be Courtney's best in. And, like, but how proud, this. though? Like, you fucking you smashed killed it. it. Like, I mean, the thing is, Courtney, like, she's a hard You belong worker. on deck. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever come back to me, she's no, coming back she's to not. me. I will fight <laughs> I will literally fight you. She's she, going to be and Courtney soon. I actually had a quote from Courtney's mouth herself. She said if she ever came back and to help me, it would be from, like to help me. So, <laughs> okay. On the interior. Oh, man, them fighting words over here. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've come back for either of you on both teams. Oh, we can share. Yeah, okay, fine. You can be a floater. You can be a dick stew, Coco. Yeah. yeah. So I have to ask, like, obviously, Reagan... I mean, I don't know how qualified she was as a bosun. Like, I don't. Yeah. How how was that? 
what what had she even been a bosun? I don't mean to be rude, but no, I'm not, yeah, her and like, experience was just like it was pretty shocking to be fair. But how do you guys navigate? Like, yeah. right. um, <laughs> sorry, I'm just yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, sorry, I was just someone was calling me from um, the, the deck, but Reagan, uh, honestly, he answers MZ. <laughs> no, he's ours now. I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, Reagan, I, I don't think she was qualified necessarily in terms of like the position that she was put into because, like, honestly, from the get go, and like Malia, when I say to you, I have the utmost respect for you, and yeah, comparing her to you and actually like trying to follow through with what she did, I was just like, really. Do you yeah. know, I, yeah. I never saw her on deck. I was like, where you are you? You know what I loved though, Z, is yeah. the fact that, you know, like Z, his first time on a yacht was our first season of filming. Like yeah. you had never, never worked on a yacht before. And just comparing that into watching you on this season and you actually calling out the things that Reagan should be doing. I was like, that's my boy. Yeah. Like it's <laughs> the knowledge, like, you know, like. Z, you've grown exponentially. It's crazy. Like, you, like watching you this season and I was like was agreeing amazing. with everything you were saying. Like, yeah, there's just no structure. There's no this and that. And there wasn't. She was basically, I think there was a scene and she's like, yeah, you guys do what you want. I was like, what the Or like fuck? the smoke like, breaks. I was like, where are you going? Like, yeah, you're like, not like about to drop anchor and she's just baffling. She's like, sure, like sure. she's like, sorry, guys, I'm busy. Like. You do you, boo. I love Courtney. Yeah, yeah. Like there are several times Courtney's like, let's go. Like, let's fucking go. Let's get shit done. I'm like, yeah. yes, go, go. <laughs> Crack that whip. Let's go. <laughs> I am. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I never actually met Reagan, obviously from what I saw from like the first few um, episodes, like it obviously didn't look great, but I mean, I kind of want like, yeah, I, I more, I more went off like what everyone else said just because obviously they yeah. can they can edit people to like look however they want so I mean I went off what everyone else said and obviously it was like when I first got on the boat oh my god the stress level was like <laughs> like form obviously had only just taken the the like kind of position and it was just meant to be temporary um and yeah we the first time we left the dock uh Captain Sandy wanted to go back to the dock and it was night time and like Storm was like running around he's like I've never even docked this boat like as, as Bo said, he was like, now it's night time, the swell, the wind. I was like, you're not filling me with much confidence. I, like, <laughs> <laughs> I saw that you were having Aww. that little moment down on the sub platform. You're like, I should I be this nervous? I'm so anxious and this and that. And I'm like, no, you guys are, you guys are like, you guys, you're, you're like, you're, you have common sense. That's basically yeah. the trick you need to survive yachting. If you have common, common sense. sense you can mm. win your way through anything. It's just like logically, like I've never docked a boat myself, but I can guarantee if I was down there, I would have someone to be like, okay, I've never done this. But yeah, like I have an idea. I have or common I think, sense. I think also like it shows with Courtney and Z like a work ethic, which that's yeah, it. Like, like they're willing to help where like, obviously we know Courtney's done interior and exterior. Yeah. And Z from the beginning, they've both always been yeah. willing to help wherever they need to. They're not so individual that they won't help out the team so like and that's yeah. that's like, yeah. like, like one of our being, honest, being honest about like what you actually know and what you don't know mm. because like to say that you are qualified to be a bosun and like obviously everyone's expecting leadership from you and and like direction if you can't give that then like you know what i mean what are you doing kind of thing <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I think you hit the nail on the head. Like it is exactly like being able to put your hands up and say like, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, can someone please help me? That was my problem in whatever season with Pete, that idiot. Like he couldn't, <laughs> he would never just say just like he didn't know what he was doing. And that's why we like, he lied to like, me. He told me he knew how to anchor and he didn't. And I was Your... like, do you realize what you could have just done? But that's... sweetheart, he knew what he was doing. Oh, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> sweetheart. Uh, okay, Courtney, did you, did you like being on deck versus being interior? I mean, that's, like the job is so different, you know? So what did you think? Um, yeah, no, I loved it. So like from leaving Lady Michelle, I did I did a couple more months as a service stew and then I actually moved to be a deck hand on a 75 meter. Um, so I, knew, I already knew that I like preferred being on deck. Um, like I absolutely loved my time on that boat and luckily they, they taught me a lot whilst I was on that and I was so thankful for it. And also on a 75 meter, like everything's bigger. So like, um yeah like the lines were like double the size double the weight and which and i like really struggled to throw them because i was still learning and like 
anyway, and then I got onto I got onto home, and the lines and everything were like half the size and half the weight. I was like, yes, <laughs> <laughs> winning, bad bitch, like <sighs> like throwing it. <laughs> Bless you up in heaven. <laughs> Thank you, God. Like this is amazing. Um, awesome. I already knew that I like obviously preferred being on deck. Um, and yeah, just. Yeah, do it like filming filming the season as a deck hand was amazing, especially coming from like season six where, you know, it was amazing with Katie and I got up to second and then like to come as like such a change, um, it was really good. And obviously working with Captain Sandy and stuff, um, as more of the exterior team was yeah, really good. That's awesome. How did you think working with Captain Sandy changed when you went from interior to deck? Um, <laughs> I know that laugh. Um, like it was obviously Captain Sandy. She wants what she wants, and with with a lot of captains, like they can change their mind quite quick. And um, yeah, so it was definitely more stressful because obviously if they change their mind and it's like with water toys or um, you know, like leaving wherever we are or leaving the dock, um, it's a lot like as a as a stewardess you're kind of like oh yeah we're leaving the dock or like oh yeah we're about to leave anchor. oh yeah we're about to leave anchor we need to like get the, that they're getting the water toys in whereas actually when you're on deck you're like on a time limit and like sometimes the time limit was not that long yeah <laughs> um, i know <laughs> running around like it was just like madness um so yeah i definitely experienced a couple more sides of captain sandy um but i think yeah again it was uh, uh, yeah it was a bit more stress I think from yeah. that. but she loves it though like Captain Sandy you know like she is really proud when we yeah. have women on deck like it is you know it's 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 yeah. how she grew in the industry and it's something yeah. you know she's very vocal about like even you know I think there's that scene in our last uh tip meeting and she actually cries because she's so proud of Malia yeah, we and cried. yeah I think I cried but I think I was just fucking tired so <laughs> and, uh, the slide how was the slide <laughs> it oh, looked like you guys struggled at first but then yeah, because I mean, I think, uh, yeah, from the get go, home, home's never had a slide on it. So, so that was new. Exactly. Yeah. It wasn't designed. Because why would they, you know? Like, they have to make that. <laughs> with, that, that with that slide, um, he was the only person that knew how to do it. And, like, literally at one point, I was just stood there, like, watching the boys. And I was like, I don't know. I literally had no idea. So I was like, there's no point in me trying to put in my two cents when I have no idea what's going on. So I literally just stood there. I was like, I'm just gonna watch. I'm gonna go and do some stuff at the back, like <laughs> this out. Because they were go like, do anything else <laughs> but the slide. <laughs> that sounds like every deckhand in the industry. That's what they <laughs> want to do. Everything <laughs> else but the slide. Yeah, literally. Goes were flying, and I was like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> She was the only one that knew how to do it. So yeah, it was yeah, I was so proud of you. Do you think that's from us doing the slide four million times together? Literally 1,000%. I was like, uh, I think I'm even Malia saying this, do this, do that. But at the same time, like, coming in as a junior, you don't want to, like, step on someone's toes. Like, to your boss, you don't be like, ha mate, this is how you actually do it. <laughs> no, but see, to your confident. credit, you are never like that. You're and you are so polite. Yeah. Yeah, you kind of like, hey, never... look, let's try this, but you're not like, <laughs> You yeah. know, some people can be very cocky in that sense. And yeah. it's the same. It's the same in the interior. I can hire shoes. They're like, well, on my last boat, I'm like, well, you're not on your fucking last boat, okay? This is my boat. Okay? This <laughs> yeah. is what we're doing. You can stay, you can go. I don't care. And but, so you're always like, you know, you'd never stepped on my toes. You always supported me, which is why obviously I absolutely loved you. And yeah. you just I know Storm did as well because you just completely supported him and you helped him find his feet. So he yeah. owes a lot of you know, his success to you guys supporting him because you did big time, oh. just like you did with me. It's huge. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, another gossip, what happened this season? Well, what's like, yeah, what was like the main difference for you guys really? Like watching the watching this season back, are you like, yeah, that's, that's exactly what went down and do you find things were manipulated more or like, yeah, mm -hmm. watching it back, how do you guys feel? Um... Well, I didn't. I was throwing away my tequila shots for the first like three nights out because I was so scared of it. So I was like throwing them behind my head and nobody noticed. And then on like the fourth night out, they're like, Are you throwing your shots? And I think I think the third or fourth night out was Z's birthday. So I was like, Okay, I'll drink properly tonight. And that was the one night where I found a true mess. But um, yeah, so that was a lot nicer for me to watch, like me not getting absolutely 
blackout smash. Yeah, that was um, an important thing for you, for sure. Yeah. You didn't have to deal with Lexi, so. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> well let's get into the drama. Like, I mean, obviously <laughs> the biggest thing is Dave and Tasha's fucking, what the They're fuck? wild. Yeah. That, I was like. It's, I mean, people, people in, in Antigua are talking about that. Like, yeah, no. I like, just. Oh. So obviously, you know, I actually met Z and Courtney straight after they finished filming. We were all in South Africa together. So obviously I got the lowdown about the drama and everything that happened from there. And so it was really interesting as well to hear their point of view and actually watch it myself. Um, I just, I was just really confused who in their right mind thought that they could come into international television and this whole saga not be found out or not find out that Tash had a boyfriend or whatever the, f I, I was honestly just gobsmacked. I'm like, what was going through their head? Like, do you guys talk to them about it? Like it was just, was it worse wild. on the boat? You think? Yeah. I think yeah. So. I, yeah. I, I think it's definitely worse on the boat. Yeah. Even like me watching it back, like, the episodes back i was still learning information because everything like everything it was just all so secretive and like even if we like tried to speak to dave was obviously a bit more open about it because he was like yeah. in a great place trying to figure everything out himself um tash obviously i tried to like kind of speak to her a couple of times about it and but she was just adamant that there was nothing going on the whole time so i'm like i just yeah you know you're going on a this television show. Like, you know this is going to air. Yeah, I just yeah, don't so. understand how you... What were you saying, Z? No, like, you know at the end of the day, like, it's going to be seen. Like That's what I mean. Yeah. And I, you know, like, I don't know Tash from a bar, so I've met Dave a few times. Um, and I read an article and she was saying, you know, like, how bad her mental health was, was before doing it. I'm like, everyone knows reality TV is fucking crazy and wild and it can chew you up and spit you out so why agree to do something like that that really i don't well, get that i think that's a good point like for people like amanda that's watching that the show or like she's not in our industry yeah. i think that's a good thing for our listeners to understand is that yachting in itself is crazy like yeah. it's it's intense for your yeah. mental health your physical health yeah, like everything really top your emotional health and then add cameras and yeah. add filming and everything and the that's, pressure of that yeah. is just like if you're not ready for that you you shouldn't be going you shouldn't no, be signing up for below deck no. it's not easy <laughs> it's not fucking easy yeah. for... i could never do it i mean i'll be the first to say like i could never handle like well, well you couldn't leave your cat i definitely couldn't leave my girls <laughs> at home but it's, it's you the girls need their mama we could get them life jackets oh my god you cute. know what honestly they would be so cute on a on a boat but yeah i could let's make that happen yeah <laughs> Um, boats and hoes <laughs> boats and hoes baby but i mean besides you guys did a good job of oh. staying out of the drama this season i think yeah. i mean but our season we didn't have like we just had uh, lexi and the delaney yeah. stuff yeah, I like it was just like lexi like lexi was the rotten egg that just like she was a monster we just had from good an outsider's vibes. perspective yeah yeah i honestly think that was like the biggest difference like on season six it, other than obviously that situation it was such like family vibes and like we all had each other's mm. Yeah. This is what I say to people. That is what nodding is normally like. You know, when people obviously ask us a lot, what is the comparison between below deck and yachting? And I always say, I think it's an insight into it's the It's more industry. like our season. Yeah, our season. Because, like, you know, like me and Malia are on a boat. We have 24 crew. And we honestly have that family vibe. And you would yeah. think more crew, yes, means more drama. And I'm sure, yeah, stuff differently happens. <laughs> But well. on a hot, oh yeah, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> um, but like on a whole, I mean, it, it is that brotherly, sisterly support system, like what we had on our season, like that is what more mm -hmm. yachting is, you know? Like, yeah. yeah, there's a few things that happen from time to time, but as a whole, like that, that is the vibe. Well, and all it takes is one bad egg to bring the energy down. Like oh, you yeah. guys can all love each other yeah. and yeah. and trust each other and it took one bad egg so just to no matter fucking, what yeah. just suck that energy out of you guys even though you were all on the same page it's like that just mm. that's the worst and then on top of that being you know on a boat Tired. isolated where you yeah. don't have an escape from that i mean touche yeah. to you guys you guys are yeah um tough. okay who's the what, who's the second student natalia um no the uh, natalia i natalia <laughs> That she bitch looks like so much fun. Off. Like, 
He does work her ass off too. Yes, like yes. that girl, when I watched her, I was like, fucking good on you, sister. So like, what, that is what yachting is. Like, what she did. Why the but, fuck but, you but Like, that's also the other thing is that, like, um, Tash, from, from the beginning, didn't say who was going to be second, who was going to be third. It was just, okay, cool. You two are going to be equals. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. uh, <laughs> I think yeah, from the get go, it was, yeah, there was tension ready. Not tension, but just like who's doing what kind of thing. What I think always going to blow up. Like they're both quite big personalities. Yeah. Mm. As a manager, like as a as somebody in like management and whatever. Like she just like there should have been a decision made from the start. And yes, like I like, remember Katie. Like as you as you said at the start of yours, you were like, "This is what I'm going off." I don't know if it's right. You know, maybe. Yeah. It, Obviously, it wasn't right, but, but anyway. <laughs> no, but I like, uh, made a decision. You yeah. Know, like, what you have to do when you're in that like position. And I think like as soon as I got on, and I they were both like level second, and there was constantly like jokes about who were like the, the second and which one was third, and blah blah blah. It just left space for like unnecessary like drama, and like we just we knew it. We knew that it was gonna like it was just bubbling. It's gonna happen. Yeah, I think that's a unique thing about yachting, too, is like when people ask, like, how is it working on an actual boat? It runs off of hierarchy. Mm -hmm. So if you're someone who cannot handle that, then you like if you can't respect that someone's above you or someone is below you or someone's, you know, might get promoted instead of you, like you're not going to last it. it, It's based on hierarchy. Mm -hmm. You have to. Yeah, you have have to go to the side, like literally like going to be situations going to get a promotion and you're not or well, there's going to be situations where somebody's above you even if they're younger than you or like you know even if they have might might not have had as much experience like they might just be better at that time at that job on that boat like yeah. i just yeah and i think that's yeah that's yeah like what happened with jason basically in terms of like i think he had basically been like captaining sailboats by himself but then in a team environment where there was a hierarchy system he just couldn't fall into like the running order of things and that's it's what a I think different is style yeah, exactly. of yachting like yeah he was skippering these boats but it's not run like a super yacht is like no, it's, 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 well, it's, it's our problem completely... with delaney like you're yeah. you just because you've captained a small you're boat not doesn't, a captain yeah there's a huge you're difference most definitely are not a stew there's a huge difference between driving a small boat <laughs> like a day charter and running like a seventy-two a super yacht. Year. Like yeah. there is so many laws and rules and stuff we have to abide by. That's by why we go to school for so long. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> I've literally been in school for like the last six it's weeks. It's not so. a cowboy yeah. situation. Like if you want <laughs> that, yeah, go on these small day boats and skip them. But no, this it, it's not the same crossover. No. It is yeah. not the same crossover. Like to put that in perspective for our listeners that might not understand is like if you are a day skipper or like you drive a t- tender or like i sorry if you're a day skipper doing like day charters on a smaller boat that license is equivalent to like what my deck crew has to drive our tender like that's not <laughs> everyone on my boat has a 200 ton license that's yeah. that's that's right. a given it's not a and people need to stop yeah like that's like doing, that like, like the playing show. the stock like, market different. and saying i'm a financial yeah, <laughs> yeah no totally <laughs> totally it's like oh i love it god you know you know the dating apps everyone's like i'm a day trader i'm like mm-hmm yeah, I'm sure because you have that one app. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sure you are. That's awesome. So, okay. So I'm curious what you two have been up to and where are you guys both now? Z. Z. I oh, think Z's frozen. Z's frozen. He's frozen. Oh, let's go with <laughs> oh, there he is. Yeah, he's back. Um, yeah. I'm in London. Chilling in the UK. Uh, what are you doing in London? Why did you move to London? Who are you, you there? Who are you there with? Day. Also, just looking extremely fashionable, must I say, in yeah. all your posts. Bougie bit. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. No. So I decided to move to London. I just obviously going home. Every time I've come home from boats and stuff, I've always obviously just gone back home um, in North Wales, and there's just not that much going on there. And to be honest, I just wanted to like kind of settle for a bit. Like I've had so much going on over the last like. For, well, three, four years, especially, like, you know, with my dad and everything. And I just think every time I came home, like, things so much had changed. And I just think at the moment for my mental health, like, I just, and just it, I, I really just, I just craved being settled in one place for a bit. So I decided, why not London? I've always wanted to live here. So, um, and I've got quite a few friends here. I had quite a lot of, like, events and stuff going on. And um, Which yes. borough are you in, Courtney? Pardon? Which borough are you in? Like, which area? Oh, um, I'm like East London at the moment, but I think I'm going to be moving south in January. But um, Wait, so does this mean you're nesting? No, I'm not. <laughs> okay. I'm easy. Do we have a daddy up yeah, here? Yeah. All right, daddy. 
very much single, like want to <laughs> go living my best um, hot hot girl winter life, you know. Oh, nice. Well, when I you want to come them. visit Denver, let me know. Yeah, let's have a <laughs> let's have a hot girl. Denver All of you, yeah. trying to get coordinated to learn. See, you can come to too. Come <laughs> I'm all for hot girl winter. Let me be there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see, where where are you? <laughs> I'm in uh, Antigua at the moment. We're here for the boat show. And then, yeah, I think here for two weeks, then back home for a week, and then coming back to Grenadines, St. Grenadines. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that the one? And they freaking on day. Feeling it. That's so awesome. Yeah. That's perfect. Well, and what can we expect from you guys coming up? Anything big that we need to keep our eyes out for? Um. I'm doing more studying. Yacht Masters. Yeah, I'm doing my my Yacht Masters. Yeah. Uh, I think in January. And then um, launching like a small little NPO probably by March. Um, That's cool. Nonprofit organization? Um, Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Can you tell us more about that or is we can't talk about that right now? Um, Yeah, we can. We can. It's, yeah, it's basically (laughs) for, for like underprivileged children to break the the poverty cycle in terms of Aww. like finding the plan is to find eight students and literally just give them the opportunity to get involved in the maritime industry not necessarily for yachting but like any opportunity in that so like it's a it's like a three-step program in terms of like first steps ocean awareness and then the second steps teaching people to swim and then from there just being like okay cool you can have your decision to find what you want to do within the maritime industry. That is God, amazing. See, if we couldn't amazing. love you anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez. Stop being so perfect. But seriously, yeah. that's amazing. If we can help out in any way, let us know. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. You're like the if best you, of all of us. If you need nonprofit <laughs> help, I can help with that because I found it and, and helped run one in Denver for oh, a while. Yeah, it, was an, it was an animal rescue, yeah. but I do have some experience with that. So if you need any help with that side of it, please let me know. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Um, well, yeah, I can't really do that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you can <laughs> I heard you were starting a nonprofit too. It's for cats, right? <laughs> can cats <and> swim? <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Um, what am I doing? Um, well, I do have something exciting coming out, like coming around at uh, like end of Jan, but it's not on a boat. Um, and then um, over the next 25 days, I'm running 25 miles for Alzheimer's Research. Okay, so oh. yeah, tell us about Coco Apparel. Oh, yeah, I need to hear about that. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, girl. I need to we'll support. We'll support. Um, yeah, so go go apparel, it just kind of like, um, obviously, apparel, like, kind of just chilling, <laughs> chilling. Um, <laughs> Like, yeah, like, sweat, it's like this Christmas stuff out at the moment. Um, it's honestly, it's more just like a small little thing that I wanted to do. Obviously, Coco Swim is the dream, um, and that will hit there. You know, but this is just kind of something, this is kind of like a little buffer just to, you know, get everyone a bit excited. But, um, yeah, no, I do actually, I, re- I, I am actually really enjoying, like, having a little business and stuff. And, um, yeah, when things are, like, not so much picking up we're just still figure it's like we've had we've had a lot of teething problems with it but the main reason for it was was because i want to do like five percent of ev- all profits will go to alzheimer's um research and stuff so amazing um, yeah there you go process behind it to begin with but we're de- yeah with the, the teething problems have been a bit mad um it's who a knew- learning curve it's a massive learning curve you, you don't know until you try like it's not yeah. so before so like give yourself props it's like, so cute i love it yeah it's so cute and honestly good on both of you guys like using you know what's come from below deck to do good like you guys are awesome i'm so happy to get to talk to you guys and hear about this stuff thank you um yeah about what did you say about the you guys are doing a podcast yeah so yeah katie and i decided (laughs) just because me and malia don't do enough together as is like we share a cabin we work on the same boat and yeah now we're gonna do a podcast together Mm -hmm. so it's called 30 flirty and flying so we just want to bake yeah Uh, like women in their 30s you know i think we break the societal route like pressures of what women our age should be doing you know we we work in a a pretty wild industry and we travel a lot and we actually get a lot of dms about that 
as is so we kind of just want to like put our knowledge and educate and inspire people and inspire yeah. women um to just get out there and kind of do what we're doing and yeah just turn into a bit of a travel show and whatever else really yeah. kind of just, just kind of like a it. lifestyle show yes yeah i'm going to talk a lot obviously about my experience working on deck and as i'm climbing the ranks and how yeah. that's going and that kind of thing yeah I just found out today I passed the heaven radar. And she Woo! thought she found it. She found it. How many people passed, Malia? Did Siddle pass? Yeah, he did. Only three of us. Yeah. And he was one of them. Yeah. What? Yeah. We're so stoked. But nice. yeah, so that means, yeah. So I'm stoked today. Um, <laughs> and yeah, that's what we've got going on. Yeah. And then obviously Total Ship Show is going into our third season. Uh, yeah. Congratulations. Oh, and Thank me and Malia you. just got rotation. Oh, yes. We're so me and Malia finally do two months on, two months <laughs> off. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, and I officially became second officer. Yeah, she did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah she did. Yeah. Officer White, watch yeah. out. So we might actually see yeah. some of Malia and maybe get some replies to our text messages in the yeah. months in the that she's <laughs> not on. We actually share <laughs> an office now. We, yeah. we have an office on the boat together we because do. we have a cabin together. We now need an office together. So, <laughs> so cute. We just like can't. They actually have it. their fingers up each other's legit. Right now, too. Like, I mean, maybe <laughs> we can't. I don't know at this rate. Yeah. At this rate, we're both single and <laughs> over men. So. Yeah. 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 <laughs> hey. Get it where you have to. Yeah, so are you both single? <laughs> yes. Yes. Malia's recently single. Yeah. yeah. Madness. Heard all about it. Yeah, we're going to be hitting up Denver after yeah. this. <laughs> I think you guys know what happened, but yeah, it was not great. Mm. And yeah. I'm still single. I'm good. Oh, my God. Seeing you guys makes me so nostalgic. Like, I was just thinking of the day at the waterfalls when Z was so, just <laughs> so wasted. <laughs> I had the oh funniest behind the scenes. I think it's you and Matt holding, holding Z him. up. And he's basically <laughs> like, oh, my God. I remember that day. Z, you came up to me and I didn't realize how shit faced you were. And you literally <laughs> yeah. came up to me and you mumbled something. And I kind of just looked at you. I was like, what the fuck, you weirdo? And keep walking. And then I saw you were literally like stumbling. And I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> he fucked up. Uh, I remember I binged that season and I texted Malia. I'm like, this Z character, man, he they is hit. bad. <laughs> and he's <laughs> oh, actually on your new season. You were smashing your head a few times and oh, I just yeah. cried. Yeah, he kept like, falling he is. When, he got out, when he got out of the hot tub and they replayed that scene like over and over. I was crying. I was <laughs> laughing so hard. I was crying. <laughs> yeah, the thing was, I feel like with that that uh that waterfalls day, we obviously had a huge night the night before. And <laughs> Wake up in the morning, no you guys eating. I started drinking straight away. Like, yeah, listen, from like 8 o'clock in the morning. So yeah. by 2 o'clock, I was... Just gone. Yeah, I was Z. <laughs> I was Z. <laughs> <laughs> we need to make that a slogan. I was no, Z. Z. How what, was last what night? You, what I was you always Z. saying? What does Z always say? He was literally just dreading the fact that he'd organized flowers or somebody had organized flowers. <laughs> oh, yes. yes, that dinner. Why did you go there? Why did you go there? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that brings us to a good topic. We need to get the clip for that. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So the Coco Z romance is just a friendship. Let's let we yeah, all know that, we right? We know it. Sorry to disappoint all the fans out there. We know. We know, we know, but it's it's a dream. Cutest <laughs> friends, though. Cutest friends. <laughs> it's a everyone, especially maybe <laughs> never say never, guys. <laughs> yeah, I have, a, I have a funny question for both of you. Um, because we know what it's like when the show comes out and everyone's like hitting up your DMs. What's the funniest DM you've gotten so far? Oh wow! Funniest or nastiest, like whatever. I just want to hear the or funniest thing from you've had any well-known person, a celebrity, someone like oh yeah. I yeah. Know. Also, any... check your DMs later today if you know what I mean. Oh, <laughs> okay, Tony. <laughs> okay, Courtney, you go first. What's the creepiest or funniest or whatever? Um, have you been proposed to? Uh, uh, no, I've not. Been. Oh, oh, well, I got. I yeah, no. People do ask ask if they can, if I can if they can marry me um but that's <laughs> somebody's asked for like a, like for me to cut some hair off and send it in the post to them um but that's what yes. i mean honestly for the right bug that's what i was oh, that's yeah. why i said name your price i'll, I'll in a jar yeah. 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 i told malia she should start selling I'm her farts this shit anymore. Fart in a jar send it off <laughs> for fortune okay, but what else coco <laughs> were you gonna say they should um yeah i don't know i don't really get that many that many weird ones um 
a lot of, yeah just a lot about twerking to be honest like twerking still a really hot topic in my dms um but uh yeah like oh, it's just more yeah just creepers to be honest and then obviously yeah, there's some weird people out there for yeah, sure. nothing to ex- no, no famous people have really slid into my dms unfortunately well, well, like, creeping you ain't not yet yeah not yet. <laughs> <laughs> have you yeah. slid into I- anyone famous's dms have i yeah um mean no i don't think so i mean i can actually every every time he wins something hoping that he'll notice me oh yes who corny that's about the the fighter oh anthony joshua she's been obsessed with him since i'm obsessed with him too yeah all right z who's your (laughs) what's your creepy or crazy or funny one I haven't had, yeah, I haven't had, like a celebrity, but there's a, a dude who's always asked for, I think he's done it to me and Dave. He's asked us to come to like New York like every year for about five months and he sends like videos of him having sex with his girlfriend. He's like, what? Yeah. Like it's me and my lady so love to have fun. Come and join us. So oh, he wants like a threesome? Didn't Dave? <laughs> He tried to message Dave when Dave was in Miami. I feel like I'm getting flashbacks. This is like bringing yeah, up. Yeah, it's, it's exactly the same guy. I said to Dave, I was like, dude, did you have the same experience? And he was like, yeah. The guy just sends you videos of. Wants him, everything. wants you guys to basically have sex with his girlfriend or So wife. Z, when did you go see him? <laughs> <laughs> I was in New York like literally three weeks ago having a good time. You were in yeah, a Bravo it. con. You were like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, okay, I've got an excuse now. Bravo, Con. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that's that's the weirdest oh, one. One, yeah, one, one weird. Well, well, it's quite, it's quite sweet, really. But like, literally, ever since <laughs> it's quite sweet. <laughs> um, no, yeah, since like since season six has come out, I've had a guy that's messaged me at like the same time every single day, morning and night, saying, "Good morning, baby, I love you," and then "Good night, baby." <laughs> I get what you mean by that. I mean, I just don't think that's sweet. Wait, wait, she's trying to... (laughs) That's not sweet. And then every day since season six. Wow. That's like like two years. I swear to God. I don't know if I... I feel like I would just go with that gives me creepy stuff. I don't know if I get that much commitment from another man to stay in my life. (laughs) That's... No, no. That's creepy. (laughs) That's wild. Wow. That's quite I mean, I give him credit for his, like, determination, but... you know like, like lock your doors yeah, sure lock your doors <laughs> we all need to carry mace <laughs> um sweet well it's been so fun catching up guys is there anything you want to ask us or anything you guys want to chat about before we wrap it up um more just like congratulations and you're both doing so amazingly and you're mm. both inspirational to inspiration you're both inspirations to all of the like girls out there on both like deck and interior like honestly you're both amazing at your jobs and um yeah you're just smashing life and it's so nice to see and i miss you both Thanks. we need a reunion yeah. like we definitely need to plan something we actually I miss need to you like, guys so much yeah like this needs to happen. bravo needs to fucking do something about this yeah. to be fair we like, like a reunion the house. amount of dms i get about getting season six cast back together yeah. like I, I don't really blame them to be fair but we don't shit house like Malia said like uh like actually just you know like a, a series just about us having a reunion in a house like actually you know maybe yeah, we, were so, we were like wanted to do it in Tulum remember we we're like we'll all go to Tulum split we'll- house round two yes, <laughs> oh yes. 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 I asked about that still I still ask I'm like tell me everything yeah uh-huh. Amanda still and thinks what? there was an orgy and then what happened <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we will. Uh, Courtney, now that we're on rotation, we're going to be in the med. I'll definitely hop over to London and see you. Yeah. You and and me and Malia, <gasps> our rotation oh, is pretty- night in London. We should just do it for the weekend. You- yeah. okay. are, you guys on the- are you guys on the same rotation? Pretty yeah. much. That's going to be literally, well, because now our boat's in the shipyard, so our rotations are a little bit flexible, but we kind of, yeah. that's kind of like the deal that we want to. Yeah. We, well, we, we do stuff together outside of work, so it doesn't, we need to work together, and then we also need to be off and work together. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Well, our captains don't know it yet, but it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> also, just because I'm in London doesn't mean I'm stuck here. Like, I'm still going to be traveling around, so I can meet you somewhere in Europe. <laughs> Way more fun, like yeah, yeah, that's true. Let's do it, man. Yeah. Yeah. I love, I love Europe. 
every chance. Yeah. <laughs> Z, is your boat uh, state like base like for good? Are you guys going to cross over to the Med? No, no, no. So we, we are crossing over in March to the Med. Where are you going? Um, I don't know. We have like six or seven charters books already. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice Med, one, Med summers are not a vibe. <laughs> Oh my no, gosh, high, hopefully but, we see each other over there. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so I'll be, yeah, I'll be made the whole of, yeah, whole of next year, basically. Yay! Amazing. Reunion. Reunion. Awesome. Well, yeah, if anyone ever wants to come to Colorado, we've got a place to <laughs> spend. Spare bedroom. Trying. I've got a spare bedroom and the girls would love to meet you guys. Uh -huh. Penny and Dilly, thank you for asking. <laughs> <laughs> the girls are cats, everybody. The girls are cats. Yeah, they are not real humans. <laughs> and Z, just you be careful going to Amanda's, okay? <laughs> Actually, Courtney, you too. <laughs> you guys should come at the same time. <laughs> Dirty peak. Um, <laughs> All right. I love you guys. It's absolutely amazing seeing you both. I'm very, in case I didn't say, I'm so proud of both of you on yeah. deck this season. You, you guys shown like it, regardless of what we did last season, you guys made it your own this season. And I'm very, very proud of both. Of I you. literally had that like proud mama's moment. Like when I was watching you guys, I was like, these are my fucking people. Yeah. Like this is it. You guys are true yotties. You graft hard. You just fucking get it. And you're just it. good and, fucking people. And you're you don't fun suck. as fuck. <laughs> yeah. Like winning combination. Mm. So I'm proud of you guys too. I love you both so much. And yeah, hopefully reunion soon. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully. Thank you guys. Love you guys. And it comes from it comes from the top. So thank Aww. you too. Oh, love you. Bye. 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 Oh, I'm so nostalgic right now. Yeah.